One day as I was leaving to go shopping at the store, I heard a clunk and clatter as something hit the floor. Must be a mouse or some such thing, so I hurried out the door. Little did I know as I looked among store shelves that my silverware and plates were dancing like the elves. Round and round they went, all at different paces. The knives and forks even set up some races. The plates kept time to a catchy tune. The bowls rolled around and kept time with the spoons. Something else happened before I got home. The hairbrush was waltzing around with a comb. The toothbrushes wanted to join in, but alas, they bristled when the hairbrushes called them low class. They were arguing when I came in the door and said they weren't going to take any more. I was surprised, I must confess, and promptly started to clean up the mess. So if you're going out and hear a clunk and clatter, always stick around to see what's the matter. Little bird, you thought you could fly anywhere you wanted, at least you would try. But others came quickly and trimmed off your wings, reminding you of practical things. Don't step off the edge, you might fall to the floor and not be able to fly anymore. Little bird, don't give up. Your wings will return. And all the while, you'll continue to learn. Hey, listen, I thought I told you to stop sitting on that couch all the time like a sack of cheesy tater tots. Look, do something nice like mow the lawn for your mama or take out the trash. That's exercise too, you know. Maybe you can take your ugly old dog for a walk because you know I'll be watching you and if you give me any drama, I'm going to contact your mama. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yes, I remember. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a nice hot bath for me. Say, Greg, where are you, lad? Greg, stop, get in here. Percy, what in the world are you doing? Well, I'm having my yearly bath, Greg. Sorry. Say, why don't you get the brush and scrub me back like a good pirate? Sorry. It's bad enough I have to see you in the tub. Now you want me to scrub your back, too? Aye, I do, lad. And, I... and bring my little toy boats, too. I, I want to play with them. How about I just use me hook to scrub your back? Hop to it, lad! <laughs> Greg, what is it, Greg? Are you fishing in a bucket again? Arr, yeah, one of me specialties, eh? Well, I've got to admit, Greg, you did find it at last time. What was catching yep. the blue tuna? Nope. Oh. What is it? You've got one. Oh, I you got, got one. to reel it in, Greg. Oh, oh, oh it's too big. Really? Too, it's big. too big. Use your hook, lad. I have to use me gaff. That's a gaff. Ah, right. oh, oh. You've got him. You've got him. Oh, ah, he's got right. away. No. Oh. 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 Greg. Ah. Ah. It's a boot. Ah. It's better than a fish. Boy, is, it a, is it a right size boot? <laughs> It's a, it's a size 10 right. Oh, that's what I need. <laughs> I hate going to the shoe store and having to buy two shoes. You know, I've got a wooden leg. Arr, this will get you through Can another I have year. It? Can I have it, Greg? Oh, no, you said catch and release. What? <laughs> catch and release, a boot? Oh, no, Greg. is short 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 now I gotta take these bars off and see if we can use them hmm but you know what I think one of the cities was six million dollars short on their budget so two hundred coming two hundred thousand dollars short on little jail that's pretty good hmm let's see this is too much work for me but I do have Cowboy John in jail, and I have the working John. Maybe I should give them some time off for good behavior. Let me call the jailer. Hey, Joel, jailer, hey. We have those two guys, those uh, Cowboy John and uh, John's buddy, the builder. 
Yeah, the one who's his building keeps falling down on him, trying to get some tractor out of a building or something. Hey, we still got him in there, jail? Okay, I'm going to come down and get them. And they can help us pull out some of this stuff so we can get this jail finished. Okay, be right there. Doo, 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 doo. I am so smart, I'm going to go get them now. Doo, 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 doo. enough money for the jail. I just have to call one more person. Hmm. I know who to call. I'll call Lenny or Denny. What's his name? Hmm. Denny. That's right. Okay. Let's call Denny. I think I have his number right here. What a lovely day. Hey, Denny. How you doing? I want to tell people about raising money for our new jail. The raffle tickets aren't expensive and there are great prizes. No, I won't lend you money to get your cousin Lenny out. Lenny's in jail. I was just going over his parole papers. He's got another six months. He stole your horse. Was it a white wine by any chance? I know someone who lost the horse that color. Anyway, if you can come to our gala affair, the fundraiser, you'll have a great time, and I'll get a new jail. Yes, I'll put your cousin Lenny in it for at least four months. I'll fill it so full that I have to have another fundraiser to build another jail. Thanks, Denny. Ooh, this is going to be so much fun. Hmm. Who next? Let's see. Oh, yes. Ah, Dr. Draw here, communicating incommunicado. Actually, I look like a telephone, don't I? Uh, telephones don't really look like this, do you? But I'm here to give you some exciting news, exciting news! DrDraw.com is up and running. That's right, DrDraw.com. Did I say DrDraw.com is up and running? DrDraw.com, yeah! <laughs> it's very appealing. Yeah! <laughs> Very good. Been late than ever. Ding dong. The witch is there. The witch is with the, the witch is with. Ah! You scared me. Baroon, baroon, as we say in German. Ah, oh, your fault! <laughs> That's fine, Bill. Right, you're allowed, you're allowed. Oh, no, more. I forgot to press record. <laughs> That's a standing joke we have. I mean, ten minutes into a show, we'll say, oh, we forgot to press record. Does that happen? Did then. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.